what's going on guys and girls just wanted to give a quick update on the on the last update video I did I mentioned that I had a RV here that was having a generator issue the generator ran fine but it wasn't powering the AC or any of the inside receptacles after doing some research it turned out it was the automatic transfer switch this particular model is the 5070 which has now been discontinued the motorhome that we're working on is a 2003 National Dolphin and that's built on the workhorse chassis after doing the research trying to find a new switch pulled this one apart and as you can tell the generator side has burned completely up I mean it's fried the solenoid in there is, is no longer good and I could not find the replacement so I ended up and we were in a rush of course this motorhome has to leave here today but I ended up finding a replacement at one of the local dealers of course they told me over the phone that this one was gonna bolt right up everything was gonna be the same but once I get it home and pull it apart I realized it's not so I called Parallax Power Supply spoke to technical service they told me that this unit would work the only difference is you know this is the main box where you plug your shore power line into and that plug was here and then of course it was wired in right where the power cord section is I had to take that power cord out I'm gonna walk you out here now and I'll show you the new one and how we redid it because if you have an older box like this and you need to replace it you're gonna to have to do something similar this here is the new automatic transfer switch just the box on the top they do not come with your generator your main shore plower plug so I had to go and buy this box buy the wiring buy everything to remount it relocate it down here which wasn't really that big of a deal it was just the headache and the confusion of having to track all this down and of course this is the first time I've ever had this issue so the first time always takes longer if I had to do this over again I could do it in half the time but the new box that we got is the ATS 501 and from what I've been told they also have a newer model out now that is the ATS 503 which is just a little more heavy-duty but they didn't have that one in stock this is all they had customer was in a rush so this is what we got but like I said I just wanted to give you an update kind of show you how I did this here if you have to replace yours the guy at uh, Parallax told me that most all of the newer motorhomes now have your shore power switch located somewhere else in the motorhome not right on the transfer switch so again, this is all kind of new to me, but I wanted to share this. I had a few people that were commenting, trying to help me out with uh, figuring out what the issue was. I do appreciate that. You know, we've had a, a lot of success with that in the past with people, you know, throwing out some, some guesses and sometimes it is the problem. So it can save me a lot of time. But I just wanted to share that. Finishing this one up now, changing the oil in the generator. Um, starting to get caught up. We're still waiting on some materials for the, the roof jobs, but... I've got all of the liquid EPDM for the Class C. That one. All the materials are here. So I'm still waiting on... I've got one roof vent on order, a new shower bubble, the dome that goes over the shower. That ought to be here in a couple of days. And once that gets here, the weather's supposed to be a lot better near the end of the week and over the weekend. I do have a couple of cases to work this weekend, but as soon as I get home, maybe Sunday evening, I'm going to get started on this one. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you all are doing well.